G'day guys, um, just want to show you my brine shrimp hatchery just very quickly. Um, it's a no unique design, it's a design you see everywhere, it's probably the most popular ones I've seen. Uh, very cheap to make, very easy except for the heaters, uh, very cheap. Um, but I've done a couple of tweaks on it just to make it easier to, to use for me anyway, uh, which I thought I'd share. Um, first I might turn the pump off, you can see the pump's there and it's switch number six. So that's what I normally do though. I'll just turn that off now because it's um, uh, quite noisy and it would interfere with the video. Um, yeah, I've gone with the hanger method, um, only because it's sort of the very easy, every easy design to make. I had the wood, uh, so that costs nothing. And I've seen people just sort of drill or rat holes into into wood and build a sort of a more of a freestanding frame. That's equally valid. Um, this is just how I've done it. Um, what else I've done is rather than um, hang it from well, the centre underneath and centred, which I had done, you can see the rusted hooks there, I've now done it from the front. Um, and what I found was when it was sitting centred, it was kind of tucked in there and it made it very hard to fill water. Uh, I was going to spill water and it was just hard to get in there and get the right angle to fill the water up. So now it sits out front, it's very easy to get your container and just top it up. There's nothing really getting in your way there. Uh, the other decision, design decision was uh, I've just stuck a power board on the side there. Again, nothing fancy there, but it just means that I can easily control power points, uh, which heater is on off, which pump is on off. Um, I'm only stealing one power point from my garage. Uh, if I move it around, I'm really just picking this thing up and free hanging power cord. I'm not, I'm not dragging power everywhere, so it's just a bit neater. Uh, as you can see, it's really just one kind of one unit with the power cords. Um, I've also stuck a light on it just so you can sort of see the shrimp. I don't know if you can see it at the moment. I don't put that lot of, a lot of eggs in, but um, there's just a light on it with the stupid switch where you've got to control the lighting. You turn it off and then on, and then you've got to keep pressing it to get the right lighting. It's stupid. But anyway, uh, I've gone with three bottles because three bottles is what we need to um, get the daily feeds that we need for our uh, fry and juveniles. Um, with the eggs we've got, it's about 24 to 48 hours. Uh, any, you know, sometimes it's, yeah, if we, if we had two bottles, we just wouldn't have uh, enough to do a daily feed. We might get both some days, and others we won't. So three is safe, and well, it's the cost of a heater, 25 bucks. Um, I already had two of them, had to buy food. But, you know, for the benefit of uh, being able to feed your fry every day with my trip, it's sort of well worth it. Um, I think that's, I know, there's a couple of other things I did. Um, instead of using um, wire, which I had used, I used galvanised uh, fencing wire, uh, which I found was rusting, and I was, I was just worried one day I would find that overnight the wire's sort of uh, disintegrated and it's fallen apart, and I've got salt water all over my garage. Um, I've just used zip ties, because they're not going to rust. And to stop the containers, the, sort of the tops being squashed together just by the weight, I've just put some spaces in there, out of some pen casings, and I've used a bit of tubing there, and that works just as well. I wasn't sure if it would, that's why I used one, but it worked. So, um, but I sacrificed two pens in the meantime. Uh, and that's really about it. Thank you.